Hello there, good day and welcome to Tech Vatiyar. I am Janida. Today we are going to learn about artificial kidney. Before going into the topic, it is essential to understand the working of a kidney. The kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs that are part of the urinary system. Each kidney is about 10 cm long, 5 cm wide and 2 to 3 cm thick weighing between 120 to 170 grams and are situated below the diaphragm on either side of the vertebra. Kidney performs filtration of wastes from the blood. It also helps in retaining adequate amount of water, salts and nutrients in the body. Filtration of waste products and excess water from the blood is done by the kidney through tiny filters called nephrons. Each kidney consists of millions of nephrons. The blood is filtered by the nephrons using a blob-like structure called glomerulus and a long straw-like string called tubule. The glomerulus works like a sift allowing only certain ingredients like vitamins and minerals to pass through the tubule. Then the kidney decides whether the body requires any of these ingredients. Based on the requirement, they are reabsorbed in the required quantities by the body to be circulated again in the blood. The waste products like urea, leftover from the breakdown of proteins, is redirected as urine through ureters. This completes the stages of formation of urine involving filtration, reabsorption and secretion. Human kidney process around 200 liters of water every day and 1 to 2 liters of waste is removed as urine. The entire blood supply of the body is filtered every 45 minutes. Along with this, the kidney produces a hormone called renin by activating vitamin D that raises the blood pressure and a hormone called erythropoietin to increase the production of red blood cells. Kidney failure occurs when kidney loses the ability to sufficiently filter the waste from the blood. This may lead to buildup of unfiltered content in the blood and may eventually lead to death. Kidney failure may occur due to acute and chronic diseases, kidney trauma, severe dehydration, certain medications and toxic exposure. Kidney transplantation or dialysis is the common treatment for kidney failure. Kidney transplantation involves transferring a healthy kidney from a donor to the patient through surgical procedure. However, there is a low availability of kidney donors who can donate a healthy kidney at the required time. It is also essential that the receiver should consume lifelong immunosuppression drugs. Hemodialysis are used in extracorporeal renal therapies for removal of uremic solutes and excess plasma water from the blood of patients with kidney failure. It works on the principle of dialysis which is the diffusion of small solute molecules through a semi-permeable membrane. A patient with kidney failure has to go undergo dialysis every week. Blood is removed from the body and pumped by a machine outside the body into a dialyzer. Blood from the patient is circulated through a synthetic extracorporeal membrane and returned to the patient. The opposite side of the membrane is washed with an electrolytic solution called dialysate containing the normal constituents of plasma water. The dialyzer filters metabolic waste products from the blood and then returns the purified blood to the person. Dialysis membrane can be classified into three types based on their polymeric composition and preparation process namely regenerated cellulosic membrane, modified cellulosic membrane and synthetic membrane. Artificial kidneys are developed by various researchers to overcome the drawbacks of transplantation and dialysis. Some of the types of artificial kidneys are wearable artificial kidneys, bio-artificial implantable kidney and laboratory grown living kidneys. The wearable artificial kidney is a miniaturized version of the bulky dialysis machine. 
It is designed to replace the conventional hemodialysis. It purifies blood like a normal kidney. The system is battery operated and weighs up to 5 kgs. Bioartificial implantable kidney, also called as bionic kidney, combine living kidney cells and microchip filters. It is the size of a soda can and can accommodate up to one liter of blood at a time and perform filtration through an array of silicon membranes. The filtered fluid consisting of toxins, water, electrolytes and sugar undergoes second stage of processing in the bioreactor containing lab-grown cells. They help in reabsorption of essential elements into the bloodstream and the remainder is sent to the urinary bladder. Stem cells can be used for growing kidneys in laboratory environment. This system is tested in rats and is still under research for refinement. Hope this video provided you with the basic understanding of artificial kidneys. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.